Hi everyone, I'm Shane Stevenson, Director of Museum Collections and Curator here at the Buffalo Naval Park. And for today's video, we're going to be focusing on hull identification numbers. So take a look at uh, the port side of USS The Sullivans, and you'll see this nice big 537 painted in white and with a shadowing effect in black. Now we figure that that was painted after World War II when she was put into reserve, but prior to her service in the Korean conflict in 1952. So probably about 1951 they painted this system, uh, this number system with the shadowing on USS the Sullivan. But for today, we have something nice to show you on the starboard side of USS the Sullivan's, and that is her hull number in World War II configuration. All right, so we recently had some work done on the starboard side, and we had her hull numbers painted in our World War II configuration, which we're really excited about. So the hull classification system that we see today was established by the Navy in 1920. Right. Prior to that, it was developed in the 1890s, and it was simplistic, somewhat organic, somewhat mishmashy. Right. But in 1920, they established this, which is still used today. So we're going to talk a little bit about the prior classification systems to 1920, and again, we'll show you the whole number on starboard on USS The Sullivans. So thanks for watching this video and let's go to the pier. Well now we're on starboard of USS the Sullivans and if you take a look behind me over my left shoulder you will see the 537 painted in a slightly different manner. So this was her World War II hull identification uh, configuration for the hull. Fabulous work. All right, we recently had our local uh, painter union here and they were able to paint the side of uh, the starboard side of the Sullivans, and uh, we asked them to do this in their World War II configuration. And she looks like a beaut right now. So you'll see that the numbers are definitely not as large, and there is certainly no shadowing going on. And that was, of course, during World War II, so that the enemy wouldn't be able to identify the ship that they were targeting, All right? So it's, it's just for safety purposes, it's to keep the enemy uh, from understanding and from knowing uh, what ship that they were, they were actually attacking. So again, going to back to a little of the history. So the hull classification systems, uh, similar to what we see today, uh, were established in the 1890s. Right, and very simply, when a naval ship was constructed, it was number one, number two, number three, depending on the type of ship. Battleship number one, cruiser number one, and so on. In 1907, they started to add a, desig a letter designation in front, B for battleship, C for cruiser, what, they had torpedo boats back then, and torpedo boats developed into destroyers. So it would be TP-1, then to uh, D-1 for destroyer. So 1890s, just a number. 1907, they added a letter designation. And then World War I happened. And the U.S. commandeered all of these pleasure craft and just private or commercial uh, vessels. And they established a new system uh, with an identification number, an ID number, or a patrol number. And then these numbers would be used. This research shows that they commandeered about two, three, four thousand vessels from commercial enterprises and personal uh, private craft. And so depending on what that craft would do, they would receive an ID number or they would receive a patrol craft number. And then that's what they used throughout the rest of World War I. 
In, world, in 1920, they went back to a more formal system right, with a letter and a number, but they also have now added the double. So now a battleship is a BB and a cruiser is a CL or a CA. All right, and that's leading up to today. Right. Destroyers are DDs. Submarines are SSs with the number after it. So, using our examples of our tourable ships here, we have DD 537. It's the 537th uh, destroyer, and it was assigned that number. Again, she was laid down as the USS Putnam, but they were changed. Uh, it was changed by order of Franklin Roosevelt to be named after the five Sullivan brothers. USS Little Rock, behind, uh, behind the Sullivans, right, was a CL, CL-92. And then can, when she converted, she turned into a CLG, Cruiser Light Guided, because there was the Talos missile system. And her whole number then changed as well from 92 to 4. USS Croker, during her World War II service, was SS-246. She was converted in the 50s and became SSK, Submarine Killer, because she was converted into a hunter-killer uh, conversion from 51 to 53. But she did keep her hull number, and it's now SSK-246. Quick recap. 1890s, the whole number identifications are very simply number one, number two, number three, sometimes written in parentheses next to the name of the ship. 1907, they added uh, a one letter, one letter designation, B, C, torpedo boat, destroyer, D. World War I, they commandeered all these vessels. They would get a uh, patrol identification or a straight identification number. And then in 1920, they have what you see today, BB, CV, SS, FFGs with frigates, cruisers. So we hope when you come down here, if you tour the ships, you'll see on the port side, Large numbers with the black shadowing, probably from 1951, before she was uh, sent to Korea. And on uh, starboard side, you'll see her war, World War II hull number configuration. Well, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, ring that bell, and check out all of our other uh, social media sites. Thanks a lot for watching.